Hello, Rowan Mithril here once again, and we're down to the final two for this game. Let's try and trim that down to the final one by going after Dive Man. Yes, he's another aquatic robot master. You know what that means. Death spikes are plenty. The stage is half water, half air, which makes sense for a submarine boss. And Gyotots are back. That's the best I can guess on how to pronounce it. G-Y-O-T-O-T-S. Alakazam, huzzah! I am the... Uh, David Copperfield of Spark Spines, which I, which I keep wanting to call Shine Sparks at this point. These are M422As. Why do the jellyfish offshoots have such hideous names? The Death Spikes want to give us problems around these scuba mets, also known as metal swims. They want to try and make it hard to get close to them without them shooting at us. Yeah. And I didn't see that one up, did you? This guy is really annoying, the whale mini-boss, Moby. Those torpedoes he fires are very fast, very tricky to dodge, and they track you. The water mines he fires, that's when you really want to counter him. They drift down slowly, and all he does during that is just kind of slowly try to suck you in. A few jumps over you guys, and we surface. Hey, Eddie, what you got for me? And if I was using Robot Master weapons, that would mean something. Hey, Jumbig. Yeah, we're on solid land, so we had to have one of you. But we're not about to let that stop us, are we? And dive, 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 back into the water, where the tide now seems to be shifting. And we also have to deal with mantas, because apparently, at some point in any water stage, you will have to fight rays. Just ask Shag. They're pretty slim, so they're kind of tricky to hit sometimes. you into going up there. The tide now solidifies as the rule of two strikes again, and we deal with another Moby. Oh good, he went with the mines right off. Like a lot of mini-bosses, he takes his toys with them when he's gone. And we take this little side path down here, because, well, why not? A very long drop of death spikes. Down, down into the abyss to find... The Wire Adapter. A stylish little grappling hook that I quite enjoy, but it comes with a price tag. Unlike the Balloon Adapter, this one sends us back a little bit. Back to the Tide Room. Hey Manta, you miss me? Of course, the real price tag is still to come. Yes, we have to fight yet another Moby now. But I think we've got him. Yes, we do. We don't need to go down there again, so we hop right over. More Mantas. And also Death Spikes that now move with the flow of the water. We also have Sea Mines. They're invincible. But if you get close enough to them, they go boom. Man, Manta Crossing. Come on, blow up. Where's the earth-shattering kaboom? There it is. From this point on, the sea level stays the same. So from here on out, the stage is pretty easy. Just a few jumps, and we move on to Dive Man himself, who's actually a lot easier than I remember him being playing this game as a child. Basically, you just want to keep your distance when he does his Psycho Crusher move. I really don't know that that's what it's called, I highly doubt it, even though actually both games were Capcom, weren't they? Basically, you just want to keep your distance and wait for him to fire dive missiles. He always fires in a pattern of three. Now, he won't always fire dive missiles after doing the Psycho Crusher. Sometimes he'll do that multiple times in a row. So, just keep your eyes open, basically. And always, keep your distance. You can actually get extra shots on him if he does more Psycho Crushers, but it's a risk that sometimes you really don't want to take. That should be enough. You sank my battleship! Or I sank yours. Or your submarine, that is. Whatever.
It's a nautical reference. Fine. It's 2.03 in the morning, and I've ceased to care. Goodbye, dive man. With that, we get the Horming Torpedo. I mean the, uh, dive missile. Basically, it is what it's... It is a tracking torpedo, basically. That's about all there is to it. Just one to go. Dive Man... It's another of those stages that can go either way. There are a few outtakes to enjoy, so... Without further ado, enjoy my failure. Bad dodge. These things are apparently, uh, good shots. And now for the mini boss, Moby. The really troublesome. Ow! Time for another Moby, thanks to the rule of two. Oh no! Yes, here we have the uh, fish in my face. Which now fluctuates between being high tide and low tide. Okay, the random number generator is just being really weird at this point. Ow, and it came to pass. The problem with the death spikes is they like to show up in areas where it can make it a bit tricky to get around the scuba mets without making them fire. Ow, like that. Uh, oh, you're kidding me. Alright, okay, I believe in the curse. Just keep your distance and wait for him to do that. When he fires dive missiles, he always fires a set of three, and then just keep your distance, lather, rinse, repeat. Now, he won't always fire dive missiles immediately after his wiggle. So oh, bastard. So yeah, despite one psycho crusher to the face, this stage really wasn't so bad. For an aquatic stage, I'm actually pretty surprised. I give Dive Man stage a 2 out of 10. That one extra point is mainly due to the usual abuse of death spikes that you'll find in these stages, and also due to the mini-boss, Moby. The torpedoes that it fires are pretty tough to dodge, especially if it fires four in a row. Getting past them at the sheer speed and pretty good tracking AI they have, it's nasty. You gotta be really good and it's some pixel-perfect dodging, usually. Dive Man himself, I don't know why I remember him being a lot harder when I used to play this as a kid. I don't know unless it's just that I was used to using the Skull Barrier against him or what, but he really didn't do much, and I'm kind of shocked by that. So this stage really wasn't so bad. For a water stage, it was pretty fun. It's mainly just the Mobies. The fact that you have to fight two of them, three if you go after the wire adapter. So that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we're down to the final Robot Master of Mega Man 4. Onward, towards Skullman!